I'm Nate, this is Shoot Fist Productions, and uh, if you're a subscriber to our channel, welcome back. If you're new, thanks for coming. Um, just want to do a little video today all about shooting if you need to wear glasses. Uh, I've, I had perfect vision most of my life, and in the last sort of 10, 15 years I've had to wear glasses. And I struggled a bit um, using my guns, getting a good sight, and um, sort of put me off a bit. So um, if, you, if you understand what I'm saying, and uh, you know, if you think of getting into shooting and you need glasses and stuff, and think that's an obstacle, um, watch this video and hopefully um, we can help you out, and this certainly helped me. And um, if you're interested, keep watching. <laughs> Um, as I said in the intro, um, perfect vision most of my life till my late 40s. Um, and then when you start, I just started needing glasses. Now, um, these are sort of my first glasses, so I've got my normal vision, sort of one and a half times magnification for sort of seeing in the distance. The bottom bit, these are bifocals for, you know, seeing my watch close up and reading. I've got a separate reading pair, which are a little bit more powerful. Uh, and then I've got another pair, which um, I use for driving sort of just as pretty much the same as my bifocals really uh, and then I've got another pair which if I'm sitting on my computer which I just bought like reading glasses so I've got all these different glasses for different distances and um, you know if you if you shoot so um, let's just say uh, this this is my this is my PP700W if, if I had well they don't do these with open so it's um, I sort of made me own it's probably in the best example so let's uh, let's use the old Gamma Whisper I've done a video on this the other day where we fixed the uh, wobbly sight there's a common problem these is a wobbly sight now <laughs> and on the video I, I couldn't hit a thing um so after that i was a bit frustrated so i put on this um little scope this is on a rifle i don't really use very much and uh once i've done that um because scoops have got a little bit of monocular adjustment so you can adjust it to your eye now dad's um looked through this and he <laughs> said uh, he's cruel he said oh yeah your scoop has got cataracts and uh, what it is that's an old scoop and that is a bit foggy but having said that even though it's not a great scoop and that is a bit foggy i was then able to hit stuff with it because um you're getting a clearer target of everything now dad said oh um because dad's got perfect vision he doesn't quite understand um he said you know a normal shooter you'd have your your sight in focus and your target would be slightly blurred so you'd be concentrating on your on your sights get them in focus now and i said to daz well when you need glasses mate that slightly out of focus is so blurred you can't you can't even see it um and, and unless you need glasses that's hard to understand so trying to use open sights when you've got glasses that's either you can either have your front sight in focus or your target in focus you there's no sort of in between depend obviously it depends on what, what glasses you need and all the rest of it but i wouldn't say my eyes are bad bad but they're bad enough that i can't use open sights um that's just a nightmare so um on my um pp700w i've got a red dot sight and i'll show you that in a sec but um bloody john wick then all guns in there. <laughs> so um i love this and i'm glad i put this scoop on it because that was on a gun I, I didn't really use very much now i can use it on the range i'm hitting stuff with it uh yeah, that's a bit foggy, uh, and I probably will when I've got the money invest in, in a better one. So, again, so if you use glasses, it's about forget forget open sights. You you you're really going to struggle, and that put you off, and all the rest of it. So, you either need a little scoop, uh, and again, um, with a spring rifle like this is, um, you can get a lot of shock. And if you get a really cheap and nasty scoop, that will just get knocked all over the place. And again, I I bought a cheap red dot sight. Um, which I put in this one shot and I just blew it all over the place. Um, as I say, there's a separate video on that where I took it apart so you could see what was inside it. And I'm going to put that on another gun just to see if I can get it to hit a barn door. So, um, so it, you know, um, like I said, with a rifle, um, a little scoop, um, doesn't have to be great magnification, just where there's a bit of adjustment on it so you can, you can see your target. And uh, now my favourite is um, red dot sight. There's various types of these. Um, this is, uh, do you know for name for this particular type test? Yeah, they call them a micro sight. Yeah, so um, I don't know. Yeah, they call them holographic, but they. Yeah, yeah. no. Um, the booty of these is you can, you can do your traditional one eye shot, but I know shoot this with both eyes open. I can literally see the dot. I can see the target. Everything's in focus, and, not, and I can hit. So I don't know if you can, can you see that on camera? There's the dot on that. Do you want me to tilt the gun at all? 
No, if you years. you hold it, yeah, you hold it, mate. I'll keep out of the out of short range if you like. Yeah, did you? Yeah. You got it on camera. So um, for me, um, you know, you could say, oh, well, you know, use batteries for shit at the fan. You can't get batteries and stuff. But at the end of the day, um, with a scoop, obviously you don't need batteries. With these, you do. And if you leave them switched on, yeah, your battery's gone, and you need a new one. But for me, um, at the minute, the, this type of site now is my favourite. I, so I can literally, as quick to bring it up on your target. You don't have to shut your eyes, you get that in the middle and bang, you're, you're shooting away and hitting stuff. So for me, that's my favourite. Um, after that would be a little scoop. So, you know, if you wear glasses, don't give up hope. Persevere, find the sort of scoop or sight that you're most comfortable with and you'll find that, you know, you will be able to be a good shooter. So um hope that's uh, helpful to, to, to anyone, really. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks.